Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me for this Ash Wednesday service, COVID style. How I wish we could all be together in person. Let's hope for next year. Today's Ash Wednesday service is about letting go. Metaphoric cleansing, um, recognizing those things that are hurting us and weighing uh, upon us. Um, it's about setting things down and not carrying them anymore. It's about setting intentions for this Lenten season that will include self-anointing, healing, new beginnings, and possibilities. I'm going to lead us through an act that could involve burning a piece of paper, and if it's meaningful for you, using those ashes to mark yourself. If not, then you might want to have a way of burying what you're going to write on that paper, maybe in the bottom of a flower pot or something. And then toward the end of our time, we will have a water option. If you would prefer to use an oil, you may. We will be sort of sealing ourselves while remembering how much God loves us and delights in us. All of this is by way of saying that you may wish to pause the service at some point and gather the following. Paper, writing implement, matches or lighter, a bowl to hold the burning paper, and a second small bowl of water. For centuries, indigenous groups used smoke as a symbol of their thoughts and prayers rising to the Great Spirit. The psalmist did too. Let my prayers rise before you as incense, the lifting of my hands as the evening sacrifice, as it says in Psalm 141. For First Nations couples, there was a practice of releasing the past in a burning bowl ritual before taking their vows. Whatever the circumstances, the purpose of the ceremony is to shift consciousness, shift it for us as we begin this season that leads us to resurrection, to new life, shift it on the spiritual level to focus us and point us toward that resurrection and new life. As we become still, we will begin to name what we want to release and let go of. This letting go opens us to the power of wisdom and love, of healing and new life, the power of the spirit to bring new possibilities. Let's prepare for our sacred activity with a responsive reading. Please join me as you see the bold print on your screen. Let the Lord our God show us where we should go and what we should do. I let go and let divine life flow in and through me. I let go and let sacred thought flow in and through me. I let go and let Holy Spirit flow in and through me. God lives in us and flows freely through us. God in me is my path to peace and healing. When I become mired in fear, doubt, and frustration, I block the flow of the Spirit. Letting go opens me to the power of restoration, wisdom, and love. I let go and let God manifest in my life as new adventure, unexpected futures, and unlimited potential. I live in unity with God and pray, let the Lord our God show us where we should go and what we should do. Now, I want to take a few moments to simply focus on your hands. Would you do that? Just look at your hands for a bit and reflect on all that they have done today. Where have you been? Where have your hands been? Now I'm gonna lead you through a little exercise here. As you inhale, clench your fists. 
And as you exhale, extend your fingers and your palms. Keep doing that. Breathe in. Pause. Breathe out and pause. I'll let you go at your own rate. I don't want anybody to hyperventilate, but breathe in and clench your fists. And as you exhale, open your hands and extend your fingers. Keep on doing that in and out. Watch them and consider everything that they have held on to today. Perhaps it was a grocery cart or a chair. Perhaps your hands turned doorknobs or pulled open kitchen drawers. Maybe your hands made beds or prepared meals. Maybe they drove you or your children around. Consider all the moments of service your hands offered throughout this day. What are the things you held on to today? With your hands or perhaps in your heart or in your mind? What are the things that you must let go of from today. Let them go now with your hands, with your heart, with your mind. Just let go of them as you open your hands. Now, as you continue to focus on your outstretched fingers and, and palms and let go the moments of today, you continue doing that. I'm going to offer you this poem. It's it's titled, Letting Go Takes Love. To let go does not mean to stop caring. It means I can't do it for someone else. To let go is not to cut myself off. It's the realization I can't control another. To let go is to admit powerlessness, which means the outcome is not in my hands. To let go is not to try to change or blame another. It's to make the most of myself. To let go is not to care for, but to care about. To let go is not to fix, but to be supportive. To let go is not to judge, but to allow another to be a human being. To let go is not to be in the middle, arranging all the outcomes, but to allow others to affect their destinies. To let go is not to deny, but to accept. To let go is not to nag or scold or argue, but instead to search out my own shortcomings and correct them. To let go is not to adjust everything to my desires, but to take each day as it comes and to cherish myself in it. To let go is not to criticize or regulate anybody, but to try to become what I dream I can be. To let go is not to regret the past, but to grow and live for the future more. To let go is to fear less and love more. And to let go is to find I invite you to rest your hands now. <clears throat> Sit quietly for a few moments. Close your eyes as I sing just a simple song and begin to let those things surface. 
that you want to let go of as we start our Lenten journey together. Just sit and breathe and note what surfaces for you. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. Begin writing down on your paper the things that you want or need to let go of. They might be actions or feelings or actual possessions or people or memories or habits. What do you want to let go of? You see, letting go begins the moment that you put pen to paper. It is your conscious awareness that begins the activation of the release of problems, thoughts, things from your life. As you are writing now, you are starting to let go of these things. Write as much or as little as you want. It can be a simple name or word or more in depth. You can have one thing on your paper or 20. Let your heart open to the flow as it releases old wounds, negativity, or unhealthy thought patterns. And if you need to pause this video so you have the time to do that, please do. We will be right here when you return. Now, in a safe place, over a pot or a bowl that you've chosen, I invite you to light your paper on fire, taking care not to burn yourself or to burn down the house. Make sure that you drop the paper or papers into the pot or the bowl. And as you watch the paper burn, visualize your unwanted thoughts, attitudes, or actions rising up in the smoke, being released from you. Allow yourself to experience whatever you are feeling. Fear anxiety, sadness, grief, loss, gratitude, whatever you're feeling. Let the feelings lift as the fire consumes your paper. Let your prayers rise as incense. And when you are ready, Pray this prayer.
Once the paper has been burned and cooled, you might have to blow on it a little to make sure it is cooled. Don't get burned now. I invite you to bless your hands. I'm going to do that by making the sign of a cross on the back of each of my hands. And as we do it, we will say, I choose to let go of all that weighs me down. I choose to hold on only to you, my God. Let us pray. Holy birther of tomorrow, we don't want to keep holding on to things that keep us from reaching out to you and others. As we begin this Lenten season, we ask you to bless us and keep reminding us to let go a little more every day and prepare us to experience your resurrection your new life, your new possibilities that you have for us as the Easter people that we are. Amen. Friends, we are chosen and loved by the source of all goodness who delights in our being and wishes only for our joy. Let us place a few drops of cleansing water or oil of blessing on our foreheads as we say the following together. I welcome your healing and your love, your light and your hope into my mind, my heart, and my soul. And you are invited to sing with me as we prepare to leave this time together in order to really commence our journey together. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O oh Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. My sisters and brothers, fellow sojourners on the way. In the words of Rumi, be a full bucket pulled up the dark way of a well, then lifted out into the light. Stars burn clear all night. Do that yourself, and the spring will rise in the dark with water your deepest thirst is for. Let us rest in the arms of the Spirit, my friends, and remember that each one of us is a precious, beloved child of God. Hear with assurance the words of Luke 15, verse 31. You are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. Blessings on our Lenten journey.
Amen. Bye for now. God bless.